Chill, my shit is on 19 battery. Why didn't I charge it last night? Kiki, you all be introduced into the vlogs. All right, guys, we're at the Prudential Center here today for my cousin's graduation. I'm hungry as hell. My, my battery on 18%. All right, y'all, we made it. Yo, this McDonald's smell got me acting up. Wait, welcome to the vlogs, Kiki. I think you might already be in the vlog. Please rise as the academic processional will now So, begin. what do you think? Leading the procession is this year's Grand Marshal, Dr. Sandra Adams. She carries the university mace. An I mean, I guess. Symbolizing the university Why didn't we just bring a big crew? We should have brought like a big Peruvian flag the like Grand you said. Of the Gonflaneers. Carrying the flags for the Kalam colleges and schools. Yeah, I'm done. That's embarrassing. <laughs> guys, I don't know if you guys know Kiki. She's one of my big ops. To acknowledge their scholarship and contributions. They've been hanging around with Brenda for the last like three weeks. Professor Randy We're all tired of is carrying the gauntlet for the College of the Arts. You're Korean too. No, I'm Professor Australian. James Japanese Sanchez now. Swing is representing the University up. College. I'm a very Korean. Selena Key 100. Let's go! Yo, we're kind of looking goofy out there. Fatima Mohammed oh. Al-Masri. Tell them, it's your story. They canceled my flight, so I'm here for... No, actually I... Yeah, for two more days, right? Like yesterday and today. Today's her last day, she's finally yeah. leaving. Thank <gasps> God. You will miss me, he will miss me. I know, he already told me. I'm debating if I'm even keeping this in the vlog. Uh, they're here, oh, we're going to Noches de Colombia. All right, just came back to Micro Center to return the uh, the driving stick thing the shift gear for my brother i've returned why is the f the first thing you do you get on tiktok there's no way to break it see this is why i don't like peruvians all right we are in chinatown or approaching how do you feel your oh, first time it? well maybe i wonder why Wait. i wonder <laughs> Guys, the troll's been influencing everyone on the vlog saying do drugs. I'm over here trying to promote no drugs. The troll always ends up the vlogs being like, do drugs. Guys, don't. It's almost 30 I kid you not, it's a 30 minute. I don't think it's fucking big. I didn't realize it was the Yeah, it's the biggest one in New York, I believe. I'm sorry, I keep bopping you. It's like blowing the wind. Ah! Ah! Alright, guys, we're at this place called Noodle Village. We got this chicken noodle, like egg noodle chicken soup. You got rice noodles. Chicken soup. And we got some big ass dumplings. This is uh, a Sicilian place. Sicilian is like Italian, right? It is. It's in Italy, but it's a little different type of cooking. Yeah. What they call the cheese, cheese tart? tart. Cheese tart, and we got. You want to take the first bite? No, you take the first bite. And we also got a mango green tea. We eat tea boba. How is it? It's good. That's good. You had a sip? Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Yummy. Well, I... W Place. What is this place called? Pink Lady Japanese Cheese Tart. That's cute. chicken in Chinatown. It looks so pretty at night. You have to see it. It looks cute. It's definitely a vibe when it's raining though. I can't lie. But at night, I think it's a vibe. Like a better vibe. Yeah, probably. They have a nice boba place that I went to last time. Like it's literally... I'm not thinking about this time. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it too much. I was just drinking it because I needed something to 
to parch my whistle or wet my whistle. Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, it has a bird on it. Oh, a little red robin. Camera's always gotta eat. All right, we just got little cannolis. All right, guys, let's try this out. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Three, two, one. Mmm, I love cannoli. Also, the garlic bread, a rosé. Have a sip. Camera eats first. All right. Mmm, that's good. I'm not crazy about dry wine. My uncle, he likes that more. So what's like margarita on a pizza? Just tomato, This place is nice. I'm gonna mainly just be drinking my water. Hey. Okay. All right, pizza's here. Thanks. Pizza review time. It's a little fancy. <laughs> this is a good pizza. It's the crust that kind of kills it for me. <laughs> the rosé has been rosé. Shout out Cafe de... Cafe Napoli. Now we gotta head out. Uh, I said, damn. <laughs> it's rain. Well, it's not even the rain. It's the wind. We have Hoboken. I'm gonna catch the train. I'm gonna head home. Alright guys. I'm back. And to my car, just you know, got off the train. Some lady is assaulting me. <laughs> Some lady is assaulting me. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna have to. Boom. You know what? Boom. Just you. <laughs> what movie is the for you? What? Hold up, bitch. <laughs> 479 Route 17 South? Yes or no? The one on... Uh, I think it's 17 It's this one. Yeah. It's out order, big dog. I'm trying, big dog. Wait, okay, what do you want? A shack burger? Or what do you want? What do you I want, want it with the bacon one. Okay, let me... But, like, I don't want any of the extra shit. I literally just the want The smoked that. shack is maybe what you nah, want. No, that's not what No? I want. Okay, never mind. You want a single or double fatty? Ooh. Is it recording? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Vega, you probably weigh more than me. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, this is a Shake Shack vlog. So, guys, if you didn't know, I Am made I allowed to let? Am I allowed to have a light? Yeah, on? bro. That's Are only you? a fucking story that parents would tell to yeah, their children. Yeah, I know. I know, but like, shit, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. I don't need a bed like that. I know you probably start suffocating. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, are you gonna drink? What are you going to drink? Well, I feel like I'll die if I don't have it. I didn't right. bring a water. I should have brought a water, actually. Me too. So, guys. See, I don't want to shake, though. Bro, I'm fucking talking. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to tell you guys the details on Vega. I've known Vega for like 17 horrible years. <laughs> Damn! Okay. 17 years, I wish I could take back. Wow. Sometimes in life, you don't get to choose. <laughs> Sometimes the blessings just come to you naturally, don't you And say? that's what I did to her. I gave her a blessing. Oh, okay. But, yeah. you know, she's just been hell curses. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, guys, let me tell you the story when Edward and I were like this. It was summer, God knows what, because I don't have a good memory. What's up? We would, Which we would go to car washes every Sunday. Do you even know when that started? I could tell you exactly when I, that started. That's why I said summer of I don't know what year. It was, in, first of all, it was in 2020. 2020. And it wasn't even in the summer. Unless you count, is September the summer? Okay, maybe not. Like, like if you're, if we're lucky, maybe. Well, how did we go to the car wash? Uh, no, I wouldn't have gone to the car wash if it was cold. So it had to be summer. No, it started, it started like early September, maybe late August if you want to be like generous. 
I would say late August. Are you sure you're going the right way, man? I don't know I don't about this know, one. Bro, they sell 11 minutes. They tell me. Go okay, fuck it. I don't know why they didn't take it to the highway. Wait, fucking that bitch roll. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you be doing. Damn. This is how we started by car wash. That's how we rekindled our friendship. Do you even know how? You just know that we went to the I car just said, wash. hey, Eddie, you want to no, come to the car not, wash? No, that's not, a, not at all what happened. I called you early, and first of all, I don't wake up early in the morning. Y'all know this for real. But like, Yes, you do. I don't wake up early in the morning. When the fuck do I wake up early to in the morning? To go on a run. Eddie calls yeah. me at 6 in the morning. Hey, you want to go on a fucking run? No, I'm Rarely. sleeping. No, no, I was mainly doing that. I don't do, when the fuck am I doing that now? It's winter. It's cold. Oh. Um, crazy. I did that. Like, I do that here and there, but usually... It's like if I'm already up, but I don't really wake up like that. But I was doing that because at the time I was living with Delilah. So like I'll take her to work and I'm like, all right, I'm up. It's nice outside. Like, fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. Yeah, you know what I mean? We get that shit raw. Hey. hey. <laughs> I know you've been doing this since the get. From the get? From the get. You know, you're disgusting. I actually gotta wipe my hands, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know how many people you did that with. Okay, okay. yeah. But anyways, right? So no, that morning I woke up. And I was like, oh, let me just harass this person that's mad fake, first of all. He was always fake. And so then I was just like, yo, we got to hang out. And he was like, oh, I'm actually about it. Oh, we in Ridgewood. Yeah, that's why I got confused. Chill, we going East Coast? Hey, hey. That's what you're secretly making us do. No, that's not what I'm secretly making us do. But yeah, anyways, right? So I woke up early and I called you. I was like, yo, we got to hang out because we never hang out. But I was like joking. Right, and then he was like, "Oh, like if you're serious, I'm about to like go out. I think you were gonna go to Mickey D's, and you were gonna run your errands." Mm. But we went to Mickey D's. Mm. Yeah. I was kind of certain. Then the next Sunday, you know, we kept hanging out. And the next Sunday, and then we just hung out like for like months. <laughs> every Sunday, every Sunday morning, we go out. Period. And that's how it started. Period. But like I had known her for years, but she was mad fake. You know? So long. What I'm hearing is. Eddie started the friendship back up again. Oh, you thought you was, he was trying to take my credit too? That's crazy. Yo, I have that one part when you was like, "Oh, they're brown buddies," and then I just zoomed in. Bro, that was that was a clean edit, bro. <laughs> thank that was thank a clean you. edit. Yeah, they Wait, were... are you like posting them or something? Don't worry about that. No, cause I want to see it. <laughs> don't worry. About I want to see. You don't need to worry about that. Guys, don't tell her. Okay, please. at least send me this. This one's gonna be like in my memories. He was that one teacher we had in seventh grade. <clears throat> you sure? 100%. You know, Mr. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name. Starts with a W. I think I had class with you that year. Because I think, um, like, I always knew you. I wish I did. But yeah, I always knew. <laughs> I always knew you, right? But, like, I didn't really talk to you. Until like fifth grade in Miss Fawn's class. Fawn, what a throwback. I remember the thing that she used to have us do, like every week, the weekly news report thing. I oh, hate, I, I hated hate that too. No, I have horrible like anxiety when it came to, especially at that time. Now, like I guess I don't really. Yeah, mind. she would make us present, right? Yeah, bro. I I asked John Paul to start presenting for me, and she was like, "Okay, I guess." That's bro. Honestly, let's let's make a rule. In the United States, so you can't like pick a child to go present. No, everyone has to, right? Early, yeah, but at such an early age, We're that probably grade. did give a lot of people anxiety. No, I don't think anyone else really cared like that. But like, I just did not want. It. Especially, I was like, bro, like I do not care about this topic. I just picked a topic and said, fuck it. You know? I remember when the Malaysian <laughs> air flights thing happened. Everyone oh did God, it. Yeah. That was back in fifth grade. That's crazy. They still don't wow. know what happened to that plane. I remember, bro, Alex reminds me here and there, he'd be like, yo, you wasn't in our group. But it was because the day that we decided to pick groups, we were in the group, me, you, Nahid, Arnold, and I think Rad one, right? Throwback! And, bro, I remember the day that the groups were assigned, I was absent. And then I was going to, like, Alex and Eric and John Paul were going to get me in their group, right? But then your dumbass <laughs> was like, we're going to take Edward. <laughs> I was like, Shh. And then I got to school, and I was like, ah, <laughs> ah. Oh, I don't and remember. I remember Eric, like, like I was absent, and then Eric was like, he came home, and we was on call because we were playing Minecraft. And he goes like, "Yo, 
yo girl picked you in the group. I was like, what you mean? You my girl. He was like, nah, for real. He was like, for real. I was like, who? He was like, Alexa got you in the group. She was a beast. I was like, no. I was, I was the bastard. The bastard? Yeah, because I could have been in such a W group. Eric, Alex, John Paul. <laughs> And then they instead of that instead of me they end up getting because they have to figure out something they they took Catherine and Alyssa <laughs> so they got the answers I was like bro they pick, got the I was like bro get me in there swap one of them we get mad answers off of even one of them oh my you God. just get one but you know they got double trouble right there you know what I mean they had two good ones right there yo one of the things I'm happy as hell I didn't go to tech bro thank God really bro yes I think if I went to Manchester I would have killed myself mm, probably would have been more. Like my freshman year, I remember I was so mad. I was like, I should have went to Manchester. And then after realizing, I was like, nah. Like at Tech, first of all, you meet so many people. Like a lot more than you would at Manchester. Oh, yeah. Cause like, I feel like Manchester's all local people. Except for the exclusion of a little bit of Patterson kids. And then, I don't know, you just meet so many people, so many new like, cultures and like, I had an Asian bestie. I had multiple Asian besties. I've never had that in my life. Where I are loved they now? it. What, huh? And where are they now? What do you mean, where are they now? You talking to them? Bro, it don't matter. It's the, the people that you meet along the way in life, okay? Anyways, it was just a great experience. Oh. Oh. Millie Mills is my girl. You know that for real. Mm. Suck on a dick, you know that for real. <laughs> Alright, guys. We're just going to eat and talk and walk. Eat and talk and walk and walk and talk and eat. Mm. Alright, shut up. Alright, seventh grade, whatever. We were cool. Oh. Eighth grade, we were still cool. There was mad beef in that class for no reason. They got had big beef with people. For no reason, I don't know why. I, don't I was just cool with everyone. Y'all females were crazy. I don't know why like people think like, yeah, let's beef. For what? I never had beef with no one. As you should, King. Mm -hmm. And beefs I have have been squashed. The only beefs I say I have right now or if anything with females but it's because they got a problem with me i don't really tell no one about my new instagram right like my, i guess my newer one because you know my older one wow hmm? wow i don't tell no one so then who knows no people just stumble across it like you stumbled across that i think oh i don't think i told you and eric too and i've known y'all for 17 years but i just didn't tell people now we have beef you don't want beef so, let's talk about some real shit. The real shit is, last time we talked, you were dealing with a heartbreak. This dick too big for any bitch to want to leave. Well, well, how did your love rekindle? Gave her dick. Okay. She missed me, that's it. Too fucking great. I knew it wasn't gonna be the end. It was for like a month. You know, sometimes I'd be confused, like, how do I be pulling people? I'm like, bro, I've messed with some people that you'd be like, what the fuck? Like, people you know. And I'd just be like, what the fuck? Told you, Edward, you're a bad bitch. Guys, I remember there was this bagel place Vega put me on to. It was called, um, it was like where the Popeyes is. Oh, bagels galore? Bagels galore. <laughs> bagels galore. She put me on, and I remember she had, like, some bagels. I was like, yo, where you get that from? Bagels galore. And I was like, oh, shit. And I started going there. That place was mid. It was really good at the time. Mm hmm now i'm a connoisseur of bagel shops mm, where's your favorite bagel spot <clears throat> see the thing is i'm not even crazy about bagels like that anymore if i'm gonna say my favorite bagel spot there's sunrise <laughs> cafe by your place it's oh. good i actually like that place there's this place in parsippany that's really good too and there's this other place in north hilden that i typically go to so i'll probably say the north hilden mm. but i'm more of a grilled cheese connoisseur i feel like grilled cheeses are you mad do you like grilled cheese? Are you a grilled mm -hmm. cheese connoisseur? Are you part of like that grilled cheese community? Mm -hmm. I double and dabble. After eighth grade, me and Vega kind of stopped talking. She got mad fake. She forgot my birthday. No, I didn't. The first time. Let's not talk about the second time. I'm in my saving money era. I wasn't even supposed to eat this. Well, fuck it, we ball. Thank you for paying. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll uh, actually I'll, pay for no, you. No, I'll send you the money. I'll no, you. I'll actually pay for you. Yo, we